hello guys welcome back to the channel i got another quick video for you hopefully it's quick i have a company that contacted me from instagram and they wanted me to take a look at this unit i have not opened it up yet I, I just took it out of the box but let me show it to you guys real quick so you guys can take a look at it all right let's go also a lot of you guys who watch my channel have not subscribed boop, boop, boop. hit the subscribe button down below put the notification bell on so you don't miss any of my video without further ado let's car stomach here we go guys so they contacted me and they sent me this little obd2 reader to help you diagnose the most common stuff on your car so here it is it's by think car with this guys you can read write codes and I can't remember the price but i will put it down in the description down below so the first thing we're going to do we're going to go and download the app and i'll walk you through some of the stuff all right guys so let's go i'm gonna just open this guy up i'm gonna show you the packaging real quick open it up okay maybe try the back one maybe all right fine we're gonna do this one <laughs> okay let's stick it out so you got a little literature let me see what is this this is to tell you how to use the unit. There's different languages in this thing, guys. This would help you just a little quick tutorial. So let's put that away for now. I don't think we'll need it. Okay, now let's see what else is in the box. Another one. Oh, there you go. Serial number and an activation code. Okay, you need an activation code for it. Uh, also, there's two of them. Right, this one is the English version, guys. All right, okay. So before we do anything, let me take it out of the box so I can show it to you real quick. All right, so here it is, guys. There you go, you just take it out. It's a, it's a big one. It's, a, it's fairly light. Here it is. I'm gonna grab my key, put it on. So let's put this guy on. There's my OBD2. All right, guys, I don't know if you could see that green light. So that means it's connected. Let's turn the key on. Let me show you guys, this is it. That's the green stuff. Let me try to log into the system now. All right, so now we are at the activation screen. View the serial number in the, okay. One of these things has the, um, has the, there you go, this one. This one has the serial number and the activation code. So let's see, view the serial number in the device, view the activation code in the manual, that one, activate, please enter, oh, okay, serial number, let me put that number in there, guys, so here it is, so you know. It's pretty cool, guys, it's pretty cool, I like this, uh, this thing, I can't wait that I have to use it so I can really see how it goes, but so far, Pretty good. Now the first thing we want to do is go to the app store and search for Think Diag and we got to download Think Diag Plus. Now we wait for it to finish. Okay, now you open it up. Oh. Allow, login with verification code. No, let's do email again. So now you have to sign up for it with your email. Now you also have to create a new password. And then after you create the password, you're trying to log in. Okay, my password isn't correct. I don't remember it. So we're just going to go and try to reset it. In order to reset it, let's click on forget password. Then you type in your email address. A verification code will be sent to your email. Then you got to go to your email and find it so we can use it. Now let's open my email address and wait for the email to come in. Refresh, refresh, here it is. Let's open that email. 645-611. Okay, now put your email address and your password and let's log in again. Alright, 
cancel that. All right, now let's turn on the, uh, just, oops, let's put on the key. All right, guys, let's do a quick. Since the server has been completely upgraded, you need to re-download the Dynamic software when you use the Dynamic function, got it. Okay, got it. But if the unit cannot scan your van, you may have to enter it manually. That is all this thing is saying. And it should load all the stuff that correspond to your vehicle. All right, guys, so let's take a, let's do a quick scan of the unit. So it goes through Bluetooth. It looked like I found it. It's looking for the van right now. All right, it just did an update. Now it's doing the diagnostic. I think it's 16, I don't know which one. North America. All right, now in this thing here, there's a bunch of stuff you can do. You can check the health, of, get a health report, scan the system, system selection, immobilizer advanced function that means there's a lot of stuff you can do so i'm just, just gonna do a quick system health check on it so now it's running let's see what happened so it's just scanning the car right now guys ecm engine so control I module no fault code light, oh, i don't have any fault so there's nothing for me to really see so we're just running through a couple steps just to see how the system works but i TCM like it so transmission control module not equipped ccs cruise control system not abs anti-lock braking system find fault code 2 epb So it is still scanning guys like i said i don't have a check engine light so i don't really have a code to check you know if i had something wrong but i'm pretty sure this little diag would be pretty good if i had a you know if i had an issue i would be able to check it and see what's going on once the check engine is done you can select which any of the codes you can delete it if you want you can, so you can clear the memory but i don't have nothing to clear you can re you can read stuff as well read the voltage and let me see battery control battery backup voltage power all right, all right so battery right now is 9.60 so you can read even the battery voltage that's pretty cool so let me uh i'm gonna i'm gonna put everything on just so i can see guys So there is a lot of stuff in here guys you can basically monitor so i just selected a few so it just tells you the voltage of everything in the car the illumination the number of registry the fuel level which is pretty cool the abs the resistance that's really good guys fuel consumption i mean i may have to drive with this on so i can see how much this thing go on basically if I just select all battery voltage battery voltage ABS so there's like 26 pages worth of stuff that you can go through which is pretty cool I mean wow wow there is so much data in here guys There's like 26 pages of stuff. But anyway, we're not gonna go through all this stuff. This <coughs> there is a lot of stuff here. Let's go back for a little bit. Actual test. All 
I wonder if I'll be able to check because I have this issue with my car where it's the battery's been drained. I wonder if I can actually test this on the battery. But right now, I just gotta find how to do it. I'm sure there might be a way to do it. I just need to find how to do it. Function check, keyless registry. Oh, I think you can also program a key in here. That is cool. Wow. That unit is pretty good, guys. I like it. Read code. Let me see what else. Let me go back. Okay, back. Okay, so you can also have a remote. So here you have all system diag, OBD function, maintenance function, report. And you can buy more stuff if you want to. You can go through your device and get a report and the, your orders. You can chat with the service if you're having an issue with them. And I, it's pretty cool guys, it's pretty cool. I like this, uh, this thing. I can't wait that I, until, I can't wait that I have to use it so I can really see how it goes. But so far, pretty good. You know, I don't have to use it yet, <laughs> but this is a, a, about 85 bucks, I think. And I think it's worth it so far. And it has a bunch of specialized stuff you can get. See from like all different cars, you can get specialized stuff too. That is crazy, let me see. Right, there's no Toyota in there. Which is what I really wanted. Okay, guys. So that's it. That's it, guys. I mean, there's not much else I could do with this, you know. It's pretty good. So, so anyway, guys, this little thing is all done. It's a quick little dag of the tank car diag OBD2 stuff. It's pretty good. I haven't been able to do anything. I am. I am not able to do anything with it. So I'm really liking it so far. It looked like it would be a really good item to buy, but until I have something to do, but it's a really good little unit to use. So anyway, guys, like and subscribe. Tell me what you think. That's it. Until the next time, peace.